Hi gang, my name is Laura Holly and this is Pedagogo Reviews, reviewing albums and EPs from popular, lesser known and independent artists. And today I'm reviewing the latest album from Muse, The Second Law, which was released on the 2nd of October 2012 through Warner Bros Records. Muse are a three-piece rock group from Devon in the UK and in just under 15 years of their career they've gained a kind of kings of rock status thanks to the awesome noise that they create using catchy riffs and instrumental effects and instrument skill and also the undeniably powerful and unique vocal from lead singer Matt Bellamy. And late 2012 they released their sixth studio album The Second Law, an album that offers up a variety of tastes such as dubstep, funk, psychedelics and something completely new for the band, but above all epicness. Is epicness a word? I don't know, but onwards we go. The Second Law sounds like it was a really fun album to make, it's like a musical pick and mix. You go from opening track supremacy, a song that could easily back a Bond film, straight into Madness, which is like having Queen vocals over an electro track, heavy on the wob, and then into Panic Station, which is incredibly funky and has this head nodding beat full of gusto. It goes on further into a land of ridiculousness. Is that a word? Maybe. I don't know. And it's also nice that bassist and backing vocalist Chris Walstenholm gets to take the lead on the vocals with a couple of tracks near the end which he wrote. Unfortunately the two tracks Chris wrote and sang on throw the rest of the album off a little bit they're not quite on the same level of greatness because it, the songs themselves, within themselves, they aren't that bad. They're like indie rock, space rock, like Brit rock, basically. But it's like throughout the album, there's something courageous happening. Like you're about to start a revolution and you're ready to fight and ready to lead. And then suddenly you, you hit these two tracks and you're like, oh, you know what, Maybe let's just take a step back. I think I might just roll up this, uh, this doobie. Also, Matt Bellamy's high range can get a little bit too much sometimes. It gets a little bit annoying for me. So with that said, which songs would I play, skip, repeat? I would play Survival because it's so over the top, it's almost funny. It's a song that builds up with numerous subtle key changes and it all leads up to this mass chanting and a screechy climax from Mr. Bellamy. It was the theme for the Olympics 2012 and I can see why because it makes me want to go and climb a mountain. But of course, I mean, it's only four minutes long so by the time I put on the climbing gear and I get out of the house, I mean, the song's over so... I would skip Save Me because it drags. Now this is one of the songs from Chris and it might fit quite nicely on a Doves album or maybe an Elbow album or maybe even an Antlers album. But on Second Law, it's, it's too floaty with its flange guitar and drawn out vocals. And I would repeat Animals. In Animals, Mr. Bellamy sings in his lower register over the instrumental backing of a repeated pattern on a keyboard as a guitar solos over the top and there's a nice steady drum beat. And the song builds as if you yourself are rising over your minions and you are about to take over the world and destroy it. It's pretty cool. Yes. Muse's The Second Law ain't all that bad. It certainly isn't an album to be played quietly. It should be played very, very loudly when you're feeling chuffed with yourself or when you're feeling powerful. And anyone who knows Muse knows that they put on a really good live show. So listening to the songs on the album and imagining them being played live is pretty awesome. Muse are currently touring around Europe so for any dates and locations click on the link to their official website below along with their official YouTube channel and Twitter. Thanks for watching everyone. To watch any other reviews go to the Pedagogo Music channel or to keep up to date with the latest Pedagogo reviews just subscribe. And special thanks to YouTube user Jokinski, I think that's how you pronounce it, but thank you for requesting a review this album. And if anyone else would like to send over any review requests or music recommendations then feel free to leave a comment, send me a message or tweet me at Pedagogo Music. The next review will be for controversial X Factor contestant Frankie Kokoza and his Embrace EP. So till then, ta-ra. I'm just looking for the embrace. Hey, hey, yes. They say I'm running, it's not true. I 